Hey everybody, it's Beth. Today I'm using this wood hanger from Dollar Tree as well as some window clings from Dollar General. I took the wood hanger and removed the twine from it and then placed these 15 millimeter half round wood beads around the edge. I did not count them, I just placed enough to fit around the entire thing. I then took tacky glue and brushed it on each of the beads and placed them down and then before the glue dried, I moved them around to get them exactly how I wanted them, making sure not to cover those holes where I'll need to ha add back in the hanger. I used my heating tool to make sure the glue was fully dry and the beads were adhered. I then painted the entire thing, front and back, with cottage white chalk paint by Folk Art, taking a smaller paintbrush to get around all of those beads. Once I have that completely painted and dried, I take Mod Podge and on the lower half, I apply a thin layer of the Mod Podge. Once I have that on there, I take one of the window clings. I decided with this red truck, placing it down on that Mod Podge and then holding it up and making sure I'm getting it lined properly with the holes for the hanger before that Mod Podge dries. I then add some more Mod Podge on the remaining part of the hanger and take the two other window clings that I decided to use, Merry Christmas, get those lined up, and then I dry that completely. And when I'm using my heating tool, I'm making sure not to leave the heat on one spot too long because it will melt the window clings. I then add a layer of Mod Podge on top of the entire center. Dry that completely as well. I then take some twine, push it back through th to the front and knot it and cut off the excess. Next, I'm taking some greenery and hot gluing it to the top right below the beads. Next, I'm making a bow, and this is one and a half inch wire ribbon, and it's the same on both sides. I cut a piece and set it aside for the tail. I then take a piece and fold it over onto the ribbon, and then take that piece and then wrap it back around to cover that folded piece. And then I'm taking a finger length longer than each previous loop and just wrapping it around over itself until it's the thickness that I want. And then pinch it in the center and grab that piece that I had set aside for the tail and in the center of that gather it in between the center of my bow and wrap a zip tie around it pulling that nice and tight cutting off the excess. You could also use a pipe cleaner or just some twine. Once I have the zip tie trimmed, I flip it around and open up all of those loops. Next, I take that and hot glue it to the center of the greenery. I then take the ends of the tail and I dovetail those. And that is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.